We've got Gary Sedell, who's the CEO of the Buffalo Museum of Science. A lot of prep all leading up to today, Gary. A lot of prep and what an incredible source of inspiration for the entire Western New York community who is interested in learning more about science and all things Eclipse. Mm -hmm. And what have you been doing in order to educate um, adults and children about what we are going to experience today? You know, it really started about six months ago, back in October, when the Buffalo Museum of Science really began to ramp up its Eclipse education. We recognize that our facility provides a really great source of informal education. We do a really good job at disguising learning and disguising science and making it look really fun. So we've welcomed visitors in, we've ramped up that programming, and we even hosted a week long activity called Eclipse of Palooza last week that coincided with spring break. And as you know, most schools are closed today as well. And it's happening as we speak. This is a live look from Texas. The uh, great American eclipse has entered the United States. And it's going to happen really quickly. Can you explain to us? I mean, we've only got 100 minutes, really, of the moon shadow passing over the United States for during the eclipse, right? Absolutely. This thing is going to be moving very quickly. When it passes over western New York, it's going to be moving at over 2,000 miles an hour. That is quite a bit faster than even the speed of sound. So those 3 minutes and 45 seconds are going to come quick and go by even quicker. Wow. And what are you guys going to be doing uh, from, from a museum perspective during that as far as trying to learn and, and, and plan for lessons out from here? We really hope that after the eclipse ends today that the desire to learn more does not end. We hope that this has been a source of inspiration for future scientists. We hosted a NASA astronaut yesterday who gave a compelling presentation and really gave a lesson in life about setting goals. And we hope that people use this eclipse as a, a special moment, as an opportunity to have received inspiration and hopefully pursue a career path in science. It really is a remarkable day for all of us to experience right here in weather in Western New York, Absolutely. whether or not it is cloudy, but we can learn so much from those sites that we're seeing exactly. and from experts like you who are teaching us as we go along. Gary, thank you of so course. much. All right.